Yeah, I, I get where he was coming from. If he RPs both of them, he should survive there, but is that really worth it? Oh, Dendy mid. mid. Lane, though. Yeah, we have the curse into the crush. Dendy's just donezo. LeBron looks to be next on the list. Gross of Haze is there. Oh my god, even this combo with Funix. Uh, Funix. Uh, Swashbuckle just deals so much damage. Okay, Sonny will barely live and will heal even more on top of that. Three dead now is Funic. Swashbuckle in two seconds, not able to get to the low ground though. Excalibur able to help clean him up, but it might cost him his life. Yeah, and no this RP would be a great now. RP potential. So having that on cooldown is going to cost them even more than just his earlier death. It's going to cost them a Ricky and potentially his second death here. All they need is one bash and they'll get it. And he was trying to pressure the mid lane, but it looks like Hellraisers will not give this up without a fight. Curse into a concoction, into a swashbuckle. Gets off the Decrepify, but the sun is there, and likely the damage is followed. But here comes Spartan with a cast into the Death Ward. Not nearly enough. Two dead in the blink of an eye. Now Excalibur attempts to blink out himself. Funic misses his swashbuckle, but it likely matters not. Nothing to blink to. Tricks of the trade up in just a moment. Looking to bottle it up. Roger still has Curse. Wait, did he just put the bottle on the ground? Oh my god, what was that? All right. I don't know if that was actually a beta. RP onto two, Rolling Thunder to follow. It's a completely wasted RP now, as there's the curse onto two to follow. Fight is a bit scattered. It's going to cost Magnus his life right off the bat. Uh, LeBron will trade. Or that's not a trade. That's a two for nothing. Roger will be the trade. And it's now the amalgamation of a bait are attempting to get out of dodge, Cinderman. But Dendi he does get off a life drain. But Funic will likely finish him off with this last swashbuckle to follow. Nope. He missed. Good decrep timing. <laughs> yeah, decrep as well. And Kasani, more than enough damage. And let's see how much damage Pushka will have after this. Kind of easy to execute. I mean, Death Ward is amazing, but it is channeling at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, Nyx uh -oh. <laughs> gets the back. <laughs> okay, there's the heal. All right, they're going to save Spartan. Very nice. Maledict to follow Death Ward as well, but he's taking basically no damage. Uh, pops the BKB afterwards, and Spartan will be chased down with ease. Curse onto two. Dendi decreps himself. His teammate dies shortly after. They do have Ricky, though. Doesn't farm the camps necessarily fast, though. Roger has the blink curse, but we're going to see Alchemist again this time go on top of the Ricky, or the, the Skylark, I should say. But Ricky was found out. There's the curse. Concoction is going to end up stunning himself in addition, and this should do it. A 2 nothing stomp. Oh, the RP into the fountain that does nearly no damage, Cinderin. The buffs are not there. Dendi is here with the heal, though. Nyx finally dies. 80 seconds on the deck. They are fountain farming. <laughs> fountain farming is fun in Dota. Okay, Sonny will fall. A free for whatever the hell. Or here, a rolling thunder come through. Skylark is going to be found out immediately as the racks will be destroyed here. He has to skewer up to safety, and by safety, I mean complete death. Decrepified RP is available, but he is stunned perpetually. Perpetually dead. Now, Dendi, cursed up, will be saved as a result until he dies swiftly after. And why am I still casting this? Why is GG not called? Tiny. Ooh, Nightmare set things up. Fiend's Grip coming in as well. Spy Carapace dot doesn't interrupt that. <laughs> Fiend's Grip just yet. They are able to kill the next Assassin and Iceberg as well. They're not done yet. They are also getting the Shadow Demon. Always want to fly. He's going to find the dust. Ooh, getting silenced up. Still got the Purge off though. Gets a disruption off on himself as well. And Team Spirit, they want to be here for it. They teleport in. Always want to fly. He's going to be the first target at this raid, but Vichun is here and he's going for the Racho. Out of mana, out of life almost as well, but he's getting saved for the moment. Vichun just uh, backing off again, now going back in for the Racho, who lost his Bane already. Jumps uh, forward to Afterlife. Oh, out of that one as well, and jumps to the tower. But is it enough to live? It is not enough to live. And Vichun is in now, past the tier yeah, 1 tower. Spy Carapace as well, and indeed Iceberg from the side. Going for all the Afterlife. In the meantime, Monkey King can't really contribute to this uh, fight anymore either. And he knows Aragon is just watching from the tree side, from the tree drops. Iceberg is still in with this. Getting Fiend's Grip from the high ground by Misha, and there's no way to interrupt him with the lower downs being asleep. Now Aragorn going back in on Iceberg. Getting the stun up there as well. There is enough damage to take him down. A little bit too deep there in the dust. Catches the lower downs as well, but he'll be able to make it out alive. Try to hunt someone down. If they can find the real one, 
V2, oh, the real one actually is the one that they didn't find there in the end. He does get stunned. They actually go for the wrong target altogether. And now Vitune, get these are going Ilu. on immersion. Yep, they got that Illu real good. The rest of Flight of Moon is in this fight now too. And Aragon coming in with his BKB. He's looking to turn this one in their favor. But so far, nobody dares walk into his Wukong's command. So it is Team Spirit that is looking to run away from the situation. Iceberg on the hunt, still getting stuck in the Ether Remnant. There's a Bane that died in the sideline. The toss in with the Spike Carapace. This time does hit Afterlife, but there's not enough to chase. I mean, the toss is really all they have in terms of chase potential, unless General goes with the Rolling Thunder, which he's thinking about. Ooh, that is a Ricky walking into a vision. There happen to be some sentry wards out there, and Dairacho will pay the price for that one. In the meantime, Immersion didn't back up far enough. We'll die there too. Vichun dominating. Yeah. Oh, they find some supports first. They go for always want to fly, but the disruption is there. Afterlife already realizing is in way too deep. In comes the real V-Tune this time around, and Immersion does get the Soul Bind off. But there is no chance to get a, a Fiend's Grip off in this one. Uh, Misha already had to cancel his V-Tune, is still looking for targets. Old Afterlife jumped to the other side of the cliff, uh, will be picked off. Three heroes dead on the side of Team Spirit, and they are just running for the hills at this point if they even can. The only one that can actually run. Brock, 3.6k HP with, what, 40% status resistance? Woo, they found Aragon, he's trying to make it out of here. He finds Immersion instead, actually. Vichun looking for some juicy support blood. Uh, and support blood is being found by Iceberg as well. Misha can't get himself back up to life with the Brain Set, the Rush. In the meantime, pops his BKB, takes a couple of hits from Iceberg and gives him a double kill with that. His life is down and out, because he does not have buyback. Supports were able to buy back. Let's see what they can do with the two of them. Both of them still have their ultimates available. Nightmare to keep himself alive. Misha is just running to try and see if he can make it to the fountain. But at this point, even the illusions of Vichun aren't hurting him so much. He does end up making it out of the fountain, but is not able to help out. Aragon is trying to keep himself alive. His BKB already running out. He's running around in his Wukong's command, but... Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, it's to buy back. That's the combo. There it is. Where's the damage? In comes Aragon. It's too late, though. They are able to kill off Misha at the back. But this PL, oh, finally they get him. An iceberg will die as well. Issues if they're fighting outside the base, but Fight Moon, they should just, you know, focus the Raxes. Yep. Still saving buyback on Void Spirit. Yeah, the buyback is used and he is back in it together with Aragon. They want to try and take out Iceberg, but he gets four stop for now. Safe. Silent the stop. Taking quite a bit of damage and uh, we'll try starting to punch some things, but he won't be able to punch himself out of that one. No, Vichun, one man army. Is it enough? One versus five, but the Fiend's Grip on the right one. Misha, make sure he kills that one off too. And that puts them in a very tricky situation with already having buyback on ice, belt back on Iceberg as well. Good Avalanche toss coming go. in. Oh, that is already the Ratchet on the sidelines, but it is uh, really this monkey that is the saving grace, perhaps. No, he's also dead for two full minutes, and I think that is going to be at the end of it, perhaps, for Team Spirit with the two cores on the sidelines. Bane dies as well. Afterlife tries to get himself out of there. Sparge Buckle misses there uh, from the Pangolier. Avalanche still hits though. He's able to dissimulate himself away, perhaps. No, still gets well, still gets killed off. GD's He's trying fault. though. Ooh, uh, well, that thought Shadow Demon getting caught up by General, and there is enough backup to kill him off. But uh, maybe some revenge is here to be had by Team Spirit. General getting open wounded is able to use that cliff to his advantage. No chase possible there. Now the Racho, he has got a range available. He will infest. First, infest out. He'll try to run away under his rage with his armor. He's getting chased though. In the meantime, Aragon is able to kill off. Always want to fly an iceberg. He's hunting for his own support. That's a big Can't kill. Get it, though. Oh, that is a great kill indeed. Both teams are so obviously baiting with their cores here. Both having the backups, but who is going to come out victorious off of this fight? Vichun already taking quite a bit of damage. The rest of the team of Team Spirit now showing themselves. And they're actually diving in. They're going all the way, and Aragon is anyway. Going for uh, always want to fly. Is able to make sure that he forces uh, that save on himself. And he cannot save Iceberg anymore. He saves himself. He's alive for the moment. That's nice. General finds himself a Shadow Demon. They're still looking for more. In the meantime, Afterlife, or sorry, Aragon. Void Spirits all look alike. It's getting lassoed up by General. That's and this Slana. is a fight for a Fly to Moon. A nice way to get the map in your control, perhaps. General might be in a 
sticky situation here. He's trying to use the cliff to his advantage, but there's people on the enemy side on both sides of that cliff. Always oh, one of flies here to try and save him, and the lasso comes out on Misha as well with enough follow up to take him out. In the meantime, Iceberg looking for more, looking for immersion, who's getting sunned up, chained up, and he has not got a save available for him. Two going the way of the fly to moon. They do lose always one to fly, and in comes the Racho. He's looking to eat people up. He, he eats everybody up. Aragon there as well. The Dead Prophet could easily kill Roche together. Oh man, yeah. Iceberg got the tower, Mask of Madness, Haze oh. just beating them up. Yeah, that's the dead Chen, I'm looking to the next target. That's going to be uh, Immersion targeted with the Will-O-Wisp. He gets pulled back in just like the Rat Show. They're all here though, and with Immersion, with the Stroke of Faith, doing a lot of damage here. Keeper of the Light will be the first one to die here. Iceberg will end up burning out. General's trying to do what he can with his Exorcism active again. A lower dance with the Cogs, trying to also but go for a safe escape, but the Racho is on his tail. And he'll be able to come up. General, I think you're alone. You probably should run. The Team Spirit's just going to hunt down the Phantom Lancer. We can't do that yet. Niceberg now actually is... Um, no, he's not in trouble. What am I kidding? He's tanky, actually. Afterlife with the Blink Dagger doesn't hit the Burrow Strike. Once though, Epicenter coming out, but always want to fly is there with the Will-O-Wisp, and it is Team Spirit that has to be careful this time around. This Sand King in a lot of trouble. One more punch would do it, and General actually taking the last hit there. Now chasing down Ergon, but he should be fine. A lower dance. Caught himself the nice Chen. Thinks well, we'll clip him there on the sidelines. And actually, during all that, V Tune was able to take out the Phantom Lancer. The hookshot now comes in on Misha as a lower dance has that one off cool. And again, three heroes dead on the side of Team Spirit. And I. Please hold that thought. That They're thought actually gonna... these plus of silence. Yeah, this is a scary time for Aragon. Does he have a spirit top is the question. He does put oh, one nice out right call. now, but it might be too late with the call or with the toss. Fly to Moon just didn't care about afterlife or immersion that showed themselves. They're like, we are here for the Phantom Lancer, and they made sure that they got him. Misha dying again in his own jungle this time around, but the are looking for some revenge. He has to be careful though. Aragon is back in this as well. Uh, Aloha Dance already burned out of mana. That defusal on Darachio doing a little bit, but not enough to keep himself alive with General there with the exorcism. Does miss the silence. That means that Aragon should be fine. Old Afterlife coming in with the Burrow Strike Epicenter. Nice Inkswell as well. And they do take out the Keeper of the Light. Can they get more or do they still have to run away from this position? Three Death Prophet. I kind of feel like General. He is crushing it this game, and we heard... Oh, well, hold that thought. Hold that thought. The feature is coming to save his life, and he's oh, getting healed up by the spirits again. Very nice. The silence coming out again. Aragon dead before the Soulbind is even out. And they're not going for the outpost anymore. They, don't, anymore. they know they can't get it. Still getting silenced up there as well as Aragon looks to go for General. He still has that bug on him. The Vampiric Embrace now disappearing. Is he fast enough with the hookshot of a lower dance? Buying some time, but Afterlife, it can a blink burrow. And that will spin the end, spell the end of Afterlife's life. Yo, Iceberg, your dance. team is fighting for a minute. No, he is farming he, oh, neutrals. He's coming, you know, give him some time. The teleport's very long. That Prophet LT. There's no way they're fighting this. Oh, there is. They got it. They have to. They have to try. Iceberg is getting targeted. Oh, but look at him. Kaleem down. Team Spirit. Ember Spirit. Can he at least get out? I don't think so. That's three cores down. The supports on the back lines are like, That's where game. did my cores go? They, they right. want to try to get some more tower on pressure because they haven't even really hit this one. Now for a mid one. Ah, that's the brutal combo there, the silence into the stun, there's no chance for a grave. Samel will be able to find the grab onto Tiger as he dives under the tower. So a trade is found. OG seeing if they can push in for more. Samel, he's got the slight chains combo, ready to go again. Gets the connection onto Insania, another setup from Samel. The buyback. ice pass flies through, Insania will die. Double buyback coming out from Liquid as they look to turn. They'll find Saxa with the roar. It is just the Rubik though, ideally with this two buybacks, they need to find something more out of this. Oh, no, and he's going to show. Out. Because he's going to try for no but no has got back up with him. A bit of an ambitious attempt there from Boxy with the raw. no going to be saved by the grave, and Boxy's going to die for that attempt. Sep does get low to Tiger and Insania, but there's no further follow-up from the two of them. McKay, does he want to commit to try and finish this kill? He's revving up the ultimate. The Soulbind's out. They'll lay him down with a boundless strike. Sep's getting low. They'll get the kill. It's a double for Mikkei. Over to mid one they go in with the snowball, cancelling the TP. Mm -hmm. Seb. 
Seb's going to be the one left behind. Moxie leads in with the raw. Seb's relatively tanky. Tiger's going to roll across. Can they burst him down? They're bringing him low. Seb still alive. Finally falls. The balance strike from Mickey comes out as after cleaning up some He's ready to move over. Join the rest of Liquid to finish off the remainder of OG. Saxon tries for the TP, but Quikefer finds him with the Shikuchi. They just have no control for them either. And they're elusive heroes as Quikefer. He has the BKB, and now they've got the Soulbind. They have the two-man side. Let's look at the two of them down. Samel's trying to get that bug off him. He cannot do so in time. Both Samel and Seb will fall, and now Liquid can collapse on the remainder of OG. No Tail will also go down. If you get that, those early levels, that solo XP, you know, the Shikuchi are hurt. You're able to do so much from an early level, and you're such a user to deal with. Mikke finding a beautiful jump in into the middle of four members of OG. Saxa goes down. Samel and Seb having to try their best to retreat, but Seb, he's shut in by the igloo. There'll be a buyback from mid one. OG still desperately trying to get something going their way, but I do not see it happening as the dive comes in from Liquid, taking out No Tail. Samel again in trouble. The silence from Insania. The Ink Swell as well. He tries to close the gap on mid one. The root will hold in place. Samele gets another slider fist out, but he will fall up inside his own base.